five. Action. Here we go. This is 613 tangent lines. Tangent lines are going to be revisited in the future. For those that get onto calculus, uh, tangent lines are very important to any curvature, right? So any curvature of, you know, if we're talking about, you know, when you get in there, talking about like a sine wave, every part of this has a slope, right? The tangent line are basically looking at the slopes of every single point all the way around. And from that, you can figure out, um, well, quite a bit. You can figure out uh, the function, or um, there's tons of applications for the derivative in calculus. But this is going to come up again. But right now, today, we're just figuring out the very basics. What the heck is a tangent line? Okay, What is it? So before we get there, I want to review, make sure everyone feels OK about this, the Pythagorean theorem, a squared, b squared equals c squared. And the other a and b, doesn't matter which one's a or b, it just matters which one is c. c is the hypotenuse, right? So regardless if it is across from the right angle or if we're trying to figure out, figure out if it's 90 degrees, we're going to assume that the hypotenuse, our c value, is just the longest side. Because the hypotenuse of a triangle is always the longest side of the, of the triangle. OK, of the triangle uh, lengths. Test if this triangle is a right triangle. Okay, go ahead and do that. First off, which is my C? C? Doesn't matter what A and B is, so we'll just say that's A and B. And go ahead and tell me, is this a right triangle? How are we going to prove it? We're going to look at the Pythagorean theorem, which works for every right triangle. The Pythagorean theorem has to work in order for it to be a right triangle. If it doesn't work, not a right triangle. So we'll go in here. Uh, who can tell me if it's a right triangle already? No. No. Pal says no. I agree. Let's see. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Question mark. Question mark because I don't know if it's true. If it's true, then yes, then this is true. It works for every right triangle, so it would be a right triangle. If not, nope. 9 plus 16 equals 36. 25 equals 36. Let's think about that. Yeah, I don't know. Mm, no. <laughs> False. Not right triangle. Not a right triangle. If it's false, not a right triangle. We're going to learn here, the next step when we look at tangent lines. If it's false, then it's not a tangent line. The reason being is tangent lines intersect at one point, and the second one is the most important. It forms a perpendicular uh, intersection with the radius. So it is 90 degrees at, with the radius. So let's look here. If I have, well, I have my laser. <laughs> is this a tangent line? Why not? Or, and also? Uh, well, um, I can't conclude that yet. I'd have to prove it with this. But there's even one other reason. Yeah, what do you think, Puma? It's not, it is intersecting, but look, intersects the circle at one point. How many is this intersect? Two. And this is what's called a secant line, secant. So it intersects the circle. But in this case, we are looking for a tangent line. So what do I need to do to this laser? Move it somewhere, right? All right, you tell me when it becomes a tangent line. Right about there? It touches it at one point. And now, what we're going to have to do is, pretty much we're using these two to prove that it is definitely a tangent line. And you'll see as you do these problems, there's no way, these are, um, these are dependent on each other. So in order for it to touch it at one place, any line that touches it at one place will have 90 degrees, but we have to double, double check. Okay, so that's what we're doing with that green. Now, I'm going to go ahead and draw this and talk about a little bit more about it. Um, ooh. Okay, we'll call this B, and we'll throw another one down here, C. So what we're doing here, the last bit, I didn't say this actually. Let me go back. A tangent line and the radius have negative reciprocal slopes. Why is that the case? Why would they have to have negative reciprocal slopes? What do you think? 
Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> have to be perpendicular. Very good. So, very good. If I have a slope that goes like so between these points, and I go over one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, right? It's a five over three slope. That's what that is in one. If I then have to have a line that is perpendicular to it, so I'm going to try to draw it perpendicular. There we go. Then what I did was I went to the left, one, two, three, four. I rose one, two, three, four, uh, well, five. <laughs> so what this has is basically the rise is five, but the run is negative. I did this wrong. I need graph paper to make this work perfectly. But this would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three. The slope 2 would have negative 3 over 5. So if it's 90 degrees, we have the negative reciprocals. So what we need to prove here is we need to look and see, is this a right triangle? Once we know it's a right, a right angle, then we can figure that it's a, uh, a tangent line. So what they're going to offer you is actually this third side as well. They're going to give you values, and you have to figure out from there if it's a right triangle. So Let's get rid of this mess. We come over to our last example problem over here. Um, this should be enough. We'll see. No. Let's bring it on over here. Oh, nice view of the ceiling. All right, now we're looking over here, and this is going to be our approach. Construct a right triangle with the tangent line and the radius. That's going to already be given to you, but we could do that if you needed to. Use A squared plus B squared equals C squared to test if it's a right triangle. So we're just doing this test, but we know if it's true and it's a right triangle, then it's a tangent line. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have a triangle. Is BC line segment tangent to... Circle A. Here's BC. Here's my radius. All this is 10. Somebody tell me this is important for number one on the homework. Somebody tell me what is the blue line's length? There's two steps to be able to see this. So first, what do we know? What do we know about this part? You see it now? This right here, this part, is 6 because any radius anywhere in the same circle is 6. So we know that this part is 6. What's this? 4. Okay, everybody can see that pretty easy now? Yep. Okay, that's for the, that's for the uh, homework number 1. All right, well, let's get rid of all these. We don't need all this nonsense. What? Are we going to do with our three values right here? There we go. Don't say that's A. B. C just has to be the longest side. So let's go ahead. 6 squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. Question mark. 36 plus 64 equals 100. Does 100 equal 100? Maybe. Maybe. Most of the time? 90% of the time. 90%? No pun. So you get 100% on the test, yeah. but but nine out of ten times it's not, <laughs> or one out of ten. Okay, here we go. It is true, true. So we have a right triangle, and we have a tangent line. So yes, tangent line is what we're looking, we're seeing if that's true. I feel like you guys actually uh, sensing confidence. Am I right or wrong? Thumbs up, sideways, down for this. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. All right, good job, guys. Um, just remind the viewers at home. I have 106 subscribers. 106. 123 to get. What are we getting? Oreos.
a package. I'll even take the request if you want like the mint ones or you want the chocolate covered ones. Double stuff? There's one. I got 105. Somebody unsubscribed, dang it. How many are doing that? How many are waiting? A bit too many, I kind of think. All right, I got to make some kind of incentive just to get in there. All right, so subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. That's it.